Good morning. Texas is on tour once again, and this week we are highlighting Mills County. And to give us a bit of the history, our Sierra Shipley explains how this county started. So in 1887, Mills County was carved from lands formerly assigned to Hamilton, Comanche, Brown, and Lampasas counties. Citizens built a county jail in Goldthwaite the following year, and in 1889, Goldthwaite was chosen as the county seat. Mills County was named after John T. Mills, a judge of the 3rd and 7th Judicial Districts. In the Republic of Texas from 1869 to 1897, Mills County struggled with Indian attacks, outlaws, and vigilante justice. Those problems continued until the intervention by the Texas Rangers at the turn of the century. But Mills County is much more than that. It's also known for the beautiful area, artistic twist, and of course, deer hunting. Now I'll let you guys get into a little bit more of that. For now, let's head back into studio. All right, Sarah, thank you. It is great to learn about how these counties became established. Well, the county seat of Mills County is Goldthwaite. The city is known for its hunting season. Now, hunters uh, generate a lot of income for the city. The Texas State Historical Association says the city, city was established in what was at the time Southern Brown County in 1885. It was named after railroad official Joe G. Goldthwaite. The town would become the county seat of Mills County in 1887 after landowners in the area donated town site property. A county courthouse was completed in 1890. The town also known for its windmills. And at one time in Goldthwaite, history tells us a gentleman could stand on his back porch and count 122 windmills in Goldthwaite, Texas. To honor the windmill, Goldthwaite is having a dedication ceremony for one of the first windmills in the area this Saturday.